Okay, so let's go ahead and begin the assembly of our Irish coffee mug. And the first thing I'm gonna do is take this large piece and you always wanna start by just kind of folding and training all of the fold lines just to kind of get them ready to perform their task. Okay, so I'm gonna do that here. And that just helps make sure that when we do start angling and gluing, that they take their appropriate position. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two and glue them side by side. Okay, you want the tab inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on the tab here. Make sure that you get the glue out to the edge as close as you can. So it gets a nice crisp hold. Okay, and then we're gonna take and align this bottom part here, make sure it's nice and flush and fold that over. Flip it over just to make sure that everything is nice and aligned. Okay. And this is the top opening of the mug. <clears throat> and what we're gonna do is we're going to simply glue, and I didn't train these yet, but I'm doing it now. We're gonna glue these pieces together like so. Okay, so we're gonna put glue in this tab here. And just press and hold, get that glued, make sure it gets a good hold. Just like so. Okay, and we're gonna go on to the next piece here. Just gonna put some glue on this tab. And push and hold that down. Give it a few seconds to dry. As you can see, I'm kind of just wiping off any excess glue that's bleeding out of there. Okay. You're just gonna continue that process until you've got it formed like so. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so I glued all those tabs together and now I'm at a point where I'm simply closing it up and I'm, I'm repeating the same process here. But I've got this additional tab and I'm gonna put glue on that tab and I'm gonna start by getting this piece into place. This piece is a little more important. Okay, and then grab that like so sure it's nice and aligned. And you can put that down on your surface and push in on that tab there to get a good hold. And there you go. Now, while you have it like this, and you do want to take a few extra seconds to make sure that tab gets a good hold. Um, while you have it like this, this could be a good time to actually place your little decorative pieces on here um, because later on it is going to be a little bit more difficult. So take this gold foil piece and you're going to glue that to the top here and that's going to fit perfectly around there. So you just want to put glue on this whole thing here and just glue that to the top. Okay. And then we also have panels that go around on each of the sections. And they're all the same with the exception for this one, which you wanna leave to the side for now. So you can go ahead and distress this or, or do whatever you want. Now remember, you're gonna have this piece glued down. So that's gonna help you with the alignment of this piece. You wanna kinda of make sure that you've got a nice even border going all the way around. So put your glue on there, and then once you have the glue on there, if you want, you can kind of take it and flip it over and push down to make sure it gets a good hold. So you're gonna to wanna to decorate all these uh, 
well, five of the six sides with these panels. And again, you're leaving this one for last because this is what the handle is gonna get glued to, okay? Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece, and I have a different color here, so it's just using whatever available cardstock I had. Let me get this glued to itself. Okay, just gonna glue that like so. Make sure you've got it nice and aligned. And just wipe off any excess glue. Okay, and then we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna get it glued to this piece here. And you wanna do this piece first because it's easier to get your finger in there. Okay, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna start by just gluing one of these down. Just make sure that I get that one piece to hold really well. That's gonna set the table for the rest of the pieces. If you get a little bit of glue that comes off there, it's not the end of the world because we've got some panels that are gonna cover that up. So just make sure that you've got that nice and it has a really good grip. And then you can actually take it, once it has a hold, kind of bend it out of the way and apply glue to the remaining tabs. I kind of caked it on there, went a little heavy. Okay, just like so. And we're gonna slip this over and I'm gonna start on the opposite side from where I just glued or held the, uh, the tab down. Just make sure that that gets a grip and then just work your way around getting the rest of them to grip. Okay. Great. All right, again, I'm getting a little sloppy with the glue, but this piece is gonna be forgiving because we've got some panels. Okay, let's just make sure that they all have a nice hold. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab this piece here and I'm gonna fold the tabs over, get everything trained. And again, you're gonna do the entire frame or the structure of the actual mug in the same colored cardstock. I just happened to cut it out of two different colors. And actually, if you want to, you can do that. It's up to you. I just think when we did our original did it all in the same color, and that's how all the files are laid out. But, you know, if you want to get crazy and change it up, that's fine. But what we're going to do is actually, before we start gluing the tabs side by side, what we want to do is glue one piece to the other using this triangular tab here. Just make sure that it's nice and flush and lined up with that score mark. And again, I got a little careless with the glue there. Okay, just make sure that gets a good hold. And then I'm gonna fold it, just to kind of train it. And we can begin by gluing the tabs side by side, like so. Okay, so just go ahead and start gluing the tabs. to its neighbor. Repeat that process until you get to the end just before we go to close this guy up. So go ahead and just do that one, two, three more times. Okay, so I've got all those sections glued together. Now what we want to do next is take this triangular tab. We want to get this in place first before we glue that middle section together. So make sure that that's nice and aligned, nice and vertical. You got it nice and lined up with that score mark. Got a nice crisp edge. And just hold that in place for just a few extra seconds because that really needs to get a good hold so that we can complete this guy here. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do just to make my life easier 
So I'm going to flip this over and apply the glue from the inside so that we don't add any more stress to this piece here. So I'm just getting some glue on that tab in there, just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and close it off. And just hold that while it dries. Wipe off that excess. And in this case, I probably should be using my more precise bottle of glue, but I'm trying something new this week and I'm trying, uh, trying a different glue bottle just to see how I like it. Okay, so there is the base of our mug. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is connect it to the stem. And we're going to do that just like this. And the reason that we didn't put the bottom on is so that we can actually get our fingers in here to help with the gluing. So I'm going to start with just one of these tabs, okay? And get that in there, push and hold it down until it gets a really good hold. Make sure that you've got it nice and lined up, just like so. And going a little nuts with the glue. Okay, make sure you give it enough time to grip. And then what I would do is go ahead and go over to the opposite side and get that glued into place. I'm just kind of pushing with this finger on the outside while using my finger on the inside to kind of create opposing forces to sort of help with the gluing. Okay, and once you get those two in place, it should be pretty sturdy in there. And then what you can do is you can flip the tabs in like so, and you can apply the glue from the inside, <clears throat> like so. And hopefully you can see that. And then you just flip that over, and then just push from both sides to make sure that it gets a good grip. And again, we're just gonna repeat that process until we get all six of those triangular tabs glued down. And you can see I'm really shaking this glue bottle because I'm not keeping it upside down. So I gotta keep, uh, keep forcing that glue out. Okay, and just be patient and make sure that it gets a good grip before you let it go. And then just repeat that process until you have all six of those tabs glued in. Okay, so at this point, we've got the basic structure of this thing put together. We're gonna to take these tabs here at the bottom of the base and fold them down just to kind of train them, but then also kind of pull them back a little bit. Okay, and I'm gonna take this piece here and actually we're gonna put glue on these tabs, my tip of my glue bottle is getting kind of clogged up. Let me clean that off. There we go. And I'm just going to put glue on these tabs here. Now you can do these one at a time. You can do them all at the same time. Try to be more careful with your glue. And I'm going to begin by just gluing one of these in place, or at least getting one of them lined up, because then the rest of them will kind of fall into place. Okay, and then just go ahead and close it up and work your way around. Make sure everything's nice and lined up. 
and then just hold that in place until it dries. So there is your mug, okay? And just real quick, you can just go over these panels here. These panels are gonna get glued down like so. You're gonna make sure that those are nice and centered. You're gonna put glue on the back of it and just repeat that process all the way around until you get all six of them glued down, okay? So those are the panels. And then really all that's left is the handle. And we're gonna go ahead and show you how that works now. Now also real quick, um, there is a cool little uh, shamrock or clover that we have here. We did this in a green glitter. It's just these two pieces, you just glue them down and then we actually just popped out of it right onto the side there. So that's that piece. And then also there is a trim piece that gets glued down like so, there's two of them. And one little trick that I learned or that I kind of found out was when you're gluing this down, it helps to use the score line as a guide and then once you've got that in place, just kind of work it and make sure that it's nice and flush with it. That way it wraps around perfectly. Because sometimes if you just place it in the center, um, I found that there's possibly little gaps that can throw it off, especially when you try to get the other piece to line up. So you always want to make sure that you're kind of smoothing it as you go to make sure that it's really hugging the paper. So you're gonna glue that piece on there. As long as you're doing that little smoothing method, it should meet up perfectly, okay? Okay, so finally we're gonna to put together the handle, which you can see here, okay? And it's made up of these strips, okay? There's two pieces like this with holes in them. Those are our liners. These pieces here with our tabs are gonna be used to glue the handle to this last panel. And then these are just to kind of cover it up and then these are decorative. I'll show you how that all works, okay? First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take this piece and I'm gonna just kind of train it a little bit just to kind of begin to shape it to its shape, okay? So the way this works is it's gonna kind of start here and work its way down here. There's a score mark at this point where it's got that sharp little corner. And then this piece is gonna curve around as well. So we kind of want to, you wanna hold it beyond the score mark so that it doesn't rip. But we do wanna get kind of get this trained, okay? It's just gonna help make sure it doesn't crease, okay? And then this piece obviously is gonna be round like that. So we also wanna kinda of train that, okay? It's pretty crazy how paper allows you to kinda of do whatever you want with it. Then we're gonna take these teeth on one side and push them down, kinda of get them into place. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually since this is a very defining point. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put glue on these two teeth here, okay? And I'm gonna sandwich this in there and get that part glued. Just because I know that that's a very defining point and I know that that's where it needs to be. It's gonna kind of set the stage for the rest of everything else. So I'm kind of adding, applying pressure to make sure that it really gets into that little crevice there. Okay, so give that a few seconds to dry. Okay, and it doesn't really matter if it's texture side up or texture side down on this piece. It really doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it. This is just to kind of help you get the basic structure. Okay, so those panels or those little tabs, they got a good hold. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of lift this up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this back a little bit and I'm gonna apply glue to the next set of tabs here. If 
probably going to go, I don't know. That looks about good. And I'm going to use the surface of my table as a nice little foundation. And I'm just going to push up from this side and push down with this finger to get those tabs to really stick. Okay. There we go. So that's got a good hold. That's kind of what it should look like on the other side. Okay, so kind of figure out at what point it's not holding. And I would just kind of flip it over like this, add glue to those tabs. And then from this side here, I can go ahead and just apply glue probably to the rest of them. And it's totally cool if you get a little sloppy with the glue at this point, because again, this is just a liner to help us get that shape. Okay, and that is pretty much how it works. So again, I'm using this hand here to kind of push it up against that liner, and then I'm using my fingers inside to push those tabs down. So this looks complex, but it's actually pretty straightforward. Okay. So just keep kind of pushing in from the outside to make sure that that has a good hold. And that's how that should look. Okay. And we can go ahead and glue this bottom piece into place. And again, just kind of using the table as leverage. We're just kind of wrapping that around. And that's just big enough to get your finger in there. So you can apply that downward force. And again, you're pushing from the outside here to push that up against that liner. And make sure that that gets a good hold. Okay, so that looks pretty darn good. And that's exactly what it should look like. Okay, so I'm gonna repeat that process with the inside. Okay, and again, we've got uh, a score mark there, and that's to indicate this piece right here, that little cranny, that little nook. So again, I'm gonna hold this and that is gonna bend this way. So I'm gonna hold it here and just kind of train this to kind of get that shape. And the rest of it's gonna curve this way. So I'm gonna hold this here and train it the other way. Okay. And then we can go ahead and Take our teeth, fold the teeth up. Now there's a little tab on here. You don't want to glue that to anything. That actually is going to stick out, okay? Because that's going to be used to glue into the panel here. Okay, so let's get our teeth going all in the same direction here. And we're just going to repeat that same process. And again, I'm going to start in this little, this little uh, corner here, just because it's a very defining section, okay? And I know that if I get that right, the rest of it will fall into place. Sometimes if you start on either end, you may not be able to really smush it in there as well as you'd like to, okay? So, I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on about three, three tabs here, two tabs there, and really jam it into that corner. So as you can see here, I've got it really jammed up in there, and I've got these 
two tabs on this side and two tabs on this side glued down, as you can see there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place glue on these remaining tabs. Slide the teeth under. And wrap it around. Kind of get my finger in there. And just kind of push from the outside in to get it to really hug that liner. Okay. As you can see there. So that's got a really good hold and that's what that should look like. Okay. And then we can go ahead and get the rest of this glued into place. And again, this little tab is gonna stick out like so. Okay, so you can go ahead and if you want, at this point, it might be easier to flip these teeth down and just apply glue to each of these teeth. And again, it's okay, it's totally cool if you get a little sloppy with this because no one's gonna see this. It's all gonna be hidden, okay? I'm gonna flip that down. Make sure the teeth are in there. And again, I'm putting my finger inside here and I'm pushing up against the wall here to really get that to stick. So that is what that should look like. Okay, let that glue really get a hold. That's actually a job well done. Go me. So finally what we're gonna do then is we're gonna take these teeth, we're gonna fold these all over, and we're gonna put the other panel piece on. The other panel piece is actually gonna go on top because it would be pretty darn impossible to glue it from the other side. And we could have left it off, but then it wouldn't be even. And we want to keep things consistent. So, okay, so at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to close this off. And this part's a little tricky, but again, it's very forgiving because we've got a few additional layers that we're going to lay on top of this that are going to hide any imperfections. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just dabbing glue on all of these little teeth, okay. And I'm gonna take my panel piece. Most important part of this right now is actually just making sure that this outer edge is nice and lined up. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of starting along the edge and just making sure that that is nice and lined up. The inside is very forgiving. You don't have to worry about making that too perfect. Just worry about the outer edge of this and trying to get that as clean as possible and as lined up as possible. And I'm doing a pretty good job here. And as the glue begins to dry, it kind of gets a better hold, okay. So just get that on there. And yeah, it looks a little rough, but again, this is just a liner piece to help with the uh, shape. Okay, and I need a little bit more glue there. Make sure that that gets a good hold. Okay, and that is actually pretty dang good. Okay, so, I'm gonna give this piece an extra second here. So the next step is applying these pieces here, okay? These are gonna go right on top, like so. And these tabs actually, you don't even, I'm gonna bend them just to kinda, just to kinda train them, but you don't really need to. Okay, so that's gonna get glued on, like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. You don't want to put glue on the tab area. 
just on the actual piece itself. I'm going to glue that on just like so. Okay, so that's already looking a little more polished already. Just as long as you've got a nice clean edge there. That's all we're really looking for. Just make sure that these tabs are nice and aligned as well. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna put the other one on just like so. So go ahead and put your glue on this piece. Make sure you don't encroach over that tabbed area. Get that glued down. Let's see that this side is way more perfect, which is fine. Okay. Now at this point, before we put the final pieces on, you're gonna see that these tabs kind of go like that. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide these tabs through these little holes here in this panel. And we're gonna glue them to the inside. Okay, just like that. So that is what it should look like. So we'll go ahead and put our glue on these tabs. And just kind of smush them over and then you can push this thing down and really get some force on it make sure that gets a really good hold okay there we go oh, these two middle ones I didn't give them enough love let me give them some more love. And this one needs a little more glue. Kind of running low on glue here. Okay, I'm gonna push and hold that down. Give it a few extra seconds to dry. Okay, so that's roughly what it should look like on the inside. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect because it's all covered up. And then to hide, a, hide even more imperfection, we've got these larger pieces that you're gonna put on now. So we're gonna glue that onto this piece. This is a really odd shape. And we did our best when designing this to make it as easy as possible. And we didn't want to sacrifice not having a 3D handle because we really felt that it just really adds to the whole aesthetic. It makes it that much more impressive. So we're going to glue that on. Okay. I'm going to take the other one and glue that on. It just looks so much cooler, 3D. And just get that flush with the panel. Almost has like a little bevel too. It's kind of cool. Okay, just make sure that gets a good grip. So we have this piece here, which does have a score line. And as you probably guessed, that's where the score line is going to go. So you're going to glue that into place like so. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to anchor it at the score mark. Just slide it right in there, make sure it's nice and centered. And wrap that around like so. Okay, and then you can go ahead and put glue on the rest of the strip. And glue that down should be dead on. 
There we go. Make sure you got it nice and centered. Okay. And then finally, we've got the panel pieces that go on the side. So we'll go ahead and put glue on this piece here and glue that nice dead center like so. Didn't give that top this strip enough time to dry because I'm kind of going through this pretty quickly. You want to take your time. And then of course we're going to put glue on this panel to finish it off. And as you, you know, started off, it was a little challenging and it looks like we made quite a mess and you weren't sure if it was going to turn out good or, or not. And I mean, that looks really good actually. It looks great. Um, it's nice and precise and accurate and perfect. And then once you have your handle, um, you can go ahead and glue it to the side of your mug. Okay, that's why we left this off for last. And that's gonna go on just like that. And uh, again, actually, um, our design team member, Bridget, she made two of these and put one on this side and one on this side and you've got yourself a little trophy. So that is pretty much it for our Irish coffee mug. Stay on top of all things Dreaming Tree and engage with us today. Get the latest news and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. For Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.